What's up YouTube? Jeff back again today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today, Samsung is really keeping us waiting for One UI 6.0 beta. It's been delayed. Talked about that in a video yesterday, but they are still rolling out several features that we knew were coming in One UI 6.0 via app updates, and there's a new app update today that gives you lock screen transition effects, something we've wanted for a long, long time, and you can actually get the update right now. I'm gonna tell you guys how to do it. Before we get started, I wanna thank my son, Jonathan, for giving us a dyno to hang out with us as usual. You got the green Suga Mimus over here. And I also wanna remind you guys about channel partner, Ultra Mobile. Ultra Mobile has premium wireless service with the additional unique advantage of international talk and text to 80 plus international destinations. Now, they're a sister brand of Mint Mobile, which I talk about a lot on the channel, but if you need that international calling to 80 plus international destinations, Ultra is a fantastic option. I know a lot of you guys who are international viewers who've traveled here to the U.S. or your students coming from the uh, different country to the U.S., you guys have purchased one of these um, from my channel to use while you're in the U.S., and that's a great option. They offer one, three, six, and 12-month options. Uh, they do have a special discount code for my users, 15% off with discount code SPRINGER on any of the plans. And you'll also notice that right now they have a three month special offer where on the two gigabyte and above plans, uh, you can get an, a, one month for free. So $48 gives you four months of service instead of normally it would be three months of service. That's actually a little bit better deal, I think, than the discount code Springer. So if you wanna get one of those, it's a great option. But like I said, if you're traveling to the US and you need a SIM card to use while you're here, um, and maybe you want to call internationally while you're here, it's a fantastic option. Uh, and I know, like I said, a lot of you guys have tried it. I've been using Ultra as well here in the Phoenix, Arizona area. Great service. Of course, in addition to the international calling, you also get free unlimited nationwide talk and text in the US, free Wi-Fi calling, free three-in-one SIM card. Fantastic deal. Again, go to my link, ultramobile.com slash Springer. If you sign up for any three-month Ultra Mobile plan today, I'll also send you a desktop phone stand, which is this Lamical phone stand here that I actually give out to my mystery box uh, subscribers in the US when they order Samsung phones, uh, in addition to uh, getting the great value from Ultra. And this is something I'm doing as a personal thank you. Ultramobile.com slash Springer sign up. Get in touch with me via email or Twitter DM to claim the uh, free phone stand. Uh, if you guys sign up, I'm doing that again, not Ultra for the giveaway. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Uh, we're going to talk about this update to the Wonderland application, which is a good lock module. For those of you guys who do not know where to find it, you'll find it in the Galaxy Store. Uh, you do need to have Samsung GoodLock installed in order to use this module. So that is something that you definitely want to make sure that you have. Uh, you can get that from the Galaxy Store, or if you're abroad, you can use NiceLock, which is basically like an open source version of it. Uh, Wonderland allows you to do really deep customization with your wallpaper. The uh, update we're talking about today is 1.3.01, .1, August 4th, 2023. That's the day I'm recording the video, and it's 83.41 megabytes. Um, now, normally you create moving wallpapers that have moving effects with Wonderland, but here's the huge change log for this version. You can now support a new type of wallpaper with transition effects, which means you can make custom transition wallpapers on your Galaxy phone. This is something that Chinese phones have had for a long time, and we've all asked uh, for the ability to have this in One UI. And even though it's not coming to One UI directly, it's coming via good luck, which is developed by Samsung as well. And here is some other huge features. These last two are for foldable users. For fold, you can now set a different wallpaper for each display. So before, if you use Wonderland, you can only have one wallpaper with a moving effect on the front screen and one on the inside screen. Now you can do an effect on both, uh, which is obviously great. And for fold and flip devices, there's now a labs feature inside Wonderland um, that lets you connect transition effects while folding it. So basically, the, uh, the transition effect will change dynamically based on kind of how the device is, is orientated. So very cool. So let's look at it first here on the S23 Ultra. And then of course, I'll show you how it looks on the Fold as well. But um, I set up a couple. So basically, here's some of the examples. So this is what you get when you log into Wonderland. This is what was originally in Wonderland, create your own moving wallpaper, which is very cool. And we can look at some of that. I have an example. We'll do one on the Fold with the transition effects. Uh, and then here... You see under create your different lock screen effect, this is the new feature. Over here, you can see you just have about Wonderland. There's a labs feature when you have it on the fold, which I'll show you in a second. So I created a couple, but if you create a new one, you can basically choose uh, something from the gallery. So last night I chose this one. And then up here, you can change your effects. So you've got CRT, you've got Pixelate, 
you've got Ripple, you've got um, Sphere, you've got Warp, you've got Edge, and you've got Blur. And you can also play with the speed and the intensity, um, and all of them have different kind of settings. So if you go to Sphere, which is what I have on my lock screen right now, you can change the speed, the glow size, and the sphere size. So you can change all of these things. I'm gonna back out here, and I'll show you guys the one that I have on my lock screen now. So if we go here, you guys can see how it looks. The sphere kind of jumps in. I really like it because this is like a yarn ball wallpaper that I got for one for a wall. Um, and the transition looks really, really cool. And you can see how it looks when you actually do it. Now, I recommend that if you're using certain ones that you turn the animation down to slower because it makes it easier to see your animation, kind of see what the effect looks like. Um, let me show you now on my fold because I actually set up two different transitions on the fold. So here's edge. I did really slowly on edge. You see how it comes in from the edge and it kind of fades in, goes from black to color. Really, really like that. Um, and then... The one on the inner display, I had Wonderland open here playing with it. Uh, on the inner display, I have Pixelate. Very cool. So like I said, you can now have a separate Wonderland wallpaper on the main screen and the cover screen on your fold, which is really cool. So let's also take a look at that labs option really quickly. Let me go back to Goodlock and uh, go to labs. So here's how you access Wonderland from inside there. Um, so if you go here, uh, inside the fold, you now have a laboratory option. And so it says Wonderland Labs dynamic animation. Wallpaper will be dynamically animated based on the angle of the device. Now this doesn't really do anything uh, for the transition effects, which is the one we were looking at because this is the new one. But if you have one of the wallpapers that are moving wallpapers like up here, let's just do an example of one of the built-in ones. So you see this one where it has like the cards falling with Alice in Wonderland. Let's set this as my wallpaper. I'm just going to do home and lock screen on the main screen. And so then if we go back, you see how it falls this way. But then if I let me fold it a little bit, it's kind of hard to do behind the camera. You can kind of see now how they fall in a dynamic way based on how it's folded. In fact, let me actually do, let me turn on rotation here as well. And then fold it so we can kind of see how it looks. Again, kind of tricky to do behind the camera. But now you can see how it folds dynamically along the transition of the bend. That's really, really cool. Um, <laughs> it's a pretty cool feature, the way they've kind of made it interact now along the, the actual fold on the foldable devices. So that is a lab effect. So obviously it's not going to work perfectly on every single one of the built-in wallpapers. And it might not work at all if you try to create your own moving wallpaper, but it is a really cool effect. Keep in mind that these wallpapers will drain a little more battery too. So if you do a moving one, um, I don't think the transition effects will eat too much battery, but uh, definitely the moving wallpapers will for sure. Anyway, this is a really cool feature. We've been asking for this for a really long time. And uh, I know we're all probably pretty happy if you're a hardcore Samsung fan to have this feature finally come. So go into Goodlock, check out Wonderland, make sure you do your update and everything. Play around with it. Let me know what you guys think. One UI 6.0 will be coming really soon. Um, like, comment, subscribe with the notification icon if you guys need some premium wireless with international text and caulk to 80 plus international destinations. Go to uh, ultramobile.com slash Springer. Get 15% off with discount code Springer. Also get a free desktop phone stand if you contact me as a personal thank you uh, if you sign up using my link. Um, and I appreciate you guys watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.